feel like Mike Pereira just wakes up in a three-piece suit. No doubt. With, with <laughs> gel in his hair and looking sharp. Mike, how are you this morning? I'm not in a three-piece suit, but I do have gel in my hair already. I oh, God. That's just a beautiful thing. You always do such a fabulous job on TV. We really appreciate your time because we know people are coming after the officials right now and they want to talk to Mike Pereira. So a lot of backlash this weekend. Clay Matthews was cited for burping Kirk Cousins on a pass that was intercepted, allowed Minnesota to go on, even the score with Green Bay and in that thing with a tie. The burping interpretation was a new one for a lot of fans. What'd you make of that call? Was it the right one? Well, it's a new one for me too, and it shouldn't be a new one for me. Um, I, I, I just think what they've done, I'm all for protecting players. I'm, I'm all for player safety, but you have to draw the line somewhere. And to me, when you are publicly saying that the Clay Matthews hit, for example, was the right call, when you are publicly saying that acts that do not put the quarterback in jeopardy of being injured are fouls, then you've drawn the line too far. And, and uh, you know, it's just such a severe at least in my opinion, overreaction to Aaron Rodgers getting hurt and, and breaking his collarbone on an Anthony Barr hit that they they just went overboard in trying to keep the quarterbacks in the game. And it, it reminds me of a play many years ago when I was still there when Tom Brady was hit low by a lunging player that had been blocked to the ground and then lunged into the knee area of Brady. And the next year up came this rule that said that even if you were blocked to the ground, you had to get up and then pursue the quarterback. You couldn't lunge. And, and I, I just, I mean, I just look at the end of that Minnesota Green Bay game and say to myself, it can't basically end on a play like that, on a call like that. And I don't blame Tony Kareni. Um, You know, he's doing what he's told to do. But to me, if the league thinks that that's the right call, if the league says that's what they're teaching their referees, then we've got a far bigger problem than we ever thought that the new helmet rule would create. Mike, do you believe that overprotection of quarterbacks is negatively impacting the game? Well, I mean, what's it negatively impacting? I, I would say yes, um, you know, because you're making it very hard to play the game as a defender. We've had to face that before. What does the league like? The league likes plays and points. And so if you look at plays and points, they've skyrocketed through the first two weeks of the, uh, of the season after two years of declines. So, you know, um, are they, uh, is the league itself, the competition committee itself, um, you know, unhappy with the results? Probably not, you know, because they've gotten the plays and points back into the game. But I think as the game presents itself to the fans, you know, we always talk about the, you know, the drunks in the bar and what they think and common sense and how at times, you know, the rules themselves go against common sense, go against what we all think. I think this has taken yet another step in that direction. Now they changed the catch rule to more align it with common sense. And we haven't heard much about that, have we? Um, but now you go into something like this, just because you're tackling a quarterback and you're coming up with language pull and scoop when it used to be lift and drive, you know, to me is just taking the line way too far. Again, I respect what they're trying to do, but you have to let the players play the game to a degree. And, you know, to have Clay Matthews rap, get his head to the side, do everything and do it at the waist, not low, not high, to do everything that he did and then get penalized for what they're calling a, a slight pull and scoop. It's just it's just not right. Mike Prayer, fabulous work as always, and we look forward to watching you on television, hearing you on the radio across the country. Keep it up, and thank you. We very much appreciate it. You got it. Take care.